Now let's move on to uh, Labor's uh, shoddy mining approvals record. They've uh, repeatedly drawn the ire of the, that sector, but apparently that's still not good enough to satisfy the Greens. Leader Adam Band has now slammed a recent decision by Labor to approve extensions for three coal mines in New South Wales. A band has called it a betrayal of everyone who voted for climate action and also claimed that Labor has made the climate crisis even worse. And Gary, how's this for hysterical? Uh, Adam Band said, you can't put the fire out if you're pouring petrol on it. There you go, always sober analysis there from uh, Adam. Uh, is this going to put a strain on the unofficial coalition we have between Labor and the Greens? Uh, the Greens seem to be angry a lot of the time these days. Yeah, but isn't it true that surely Labor is going to put the Greens last on their preferences? So, in other words, uh, this so-called unofficial coalition, surely, if the Greens really cared about Australia, they'd be putting, uh, you know, if the, if the Labor Party actually cared about Australia, they'd put the Greens last. Look, they want it rely. They want all of us reliant on government. They want us all on the government team, government handout, be thankful to government. Uh, this is really sinister stuff, and it's not hysterical to talk like this because if we don't call this stuff out now... Uh, these people are slowly but surely saying, oh, look, we care for the environment. That sounds really nice. I mean, I care for the environment too. But at what cost? That's the question they never want to answer. And so we need to use our coal resources. And the projections here in Queensland are that we're going to dig more coal out of the ground. We're going to dig more out, but we can't use it here. We send it to China. We send it off to other places and so they can use our coal to make stuff and then they send it back to us and we buy it at full retail rate. We, we are crazy. We need cheap, reliable, base load and, did I say cheap? I'll say cheap again. In fact, we need really cheap electricity to get our country moving again. Pretty simple. It is pretty simple and it's uh, criminal that we've got some of the highest energy costs in the world when we should have the lowest. They should be rock yep, bottom with absolutely. the natural resources we're blessed with. Uh, now, student debt is an issue. It's at soared to over $81 billion uh, due to the rising cost of degrees indexation. It's uh, added another $3.4 billion to the outstanding loan total last financial year. This means that graduates are taking longer to pay back their student loans, Gary, and tax office data shows that the federal government is already writing off hundreds of millions of uh, dollars in student debt and it plans to write off another $2.2 billion and if that's taxpayer money. And I do question what all this debt is for. Of course, they're very useful uh, degrees to be uh, studied. But we have so many junk degrees that really don't qualify the graduate for, for anything. Uh, they cost the taxpayers a fortune and they sell false hope to, to the student as well. Yeah, and I think in a lot of ways some of these degrees become remedial therapy for people who are just bored in life because they know they after they finish the <laughs> degree they just can ping off overseas and have a gap year which lasts for five and they never pay the debt back. So, look, spare me. Uh, I, I was one of the first people to ever go into the HEC scheme. I studied part-time from 1987 onwards. So I was one of the first people to ever pay HEX. And, yes, I was working part-time. Oh, I was working and so I was studying part time. So I paid my debt off, I think, three or four percent of my income. In fact, I think I overpaid it. They had to send me a refund at one stage. You know, little little steps along the way. If you pay it off gradually, it's good. Uh, I know others who say, you know, what? what's the debt for this year going to be? Well, I'm going to work my tail off over Christmas. I'm going to come, come up with the money up front. I get a discount for paying the hex, the contribution to the overall cost of education early. So what about those people? People who actually have paid their debt off, people who saved up the money, paid the stuff up front, you know, they they really should be even more angry than you and I as taxpayers are. $81 billion of people who are basically bludging off the rest of us. Get on with the business of earning money out of the degree. If your degree was worth anything, you should be earning more than the average. Go and get that money and pay your debt off. Pay it off faster than you're required. I, I, I just for the life of me don't understand it. It's lousy, but I really worry that Labor and the Greens, that unofficial coalition you talk about, will want to do a Joe Biden and will want to pay and forgive those debts. Yep. And that's going to cost all of us. Older people are living in misery, paying more for power, and we're going to give these people who've shirked their responsibility to pay off their debt a, a free pass. That is just wrong, but typical of Labor, typical of Labor.
Well, you need to be earning uh, just over 54000 per annum to start making any sort of payments on HEX. So some of but the uh, graduates, yeah. if can, they're you working... Can earn, you, can earn, you can earn money oh, less than that and you'll can. start paying. You know, I don't get it. Oh, you can always opt to pay it earlier, but the, exactly. the compulsory payment where they uh, deduct it from your salary starts off at just over 54000 So if you're working part-time or if you're working... Uh, Casually, you can avoid paying it if, if you don't want to engage into in full time work. Now, before you go, this is another yep. bombshell story from Victoria, with the builders of the North East Link, the most expensive road in Victorian history. Uh, there's allegations they've been coerced by the CFMEU into hiring casual workers earning three hundred thousand dollars per annum to operate. Uh, gantry cranes on the project instead of using full-time employees who a special North East Link pay deal would have covered. Is it any wonder, Gary, that this state is broke, the biggest state debt in the country, and we've got projects running late, running over budget. This particular uh, road, North, North East Link, it started off costing $15.8 which I would have thought was plenty already. It's already blown up to $26 billion And, God, who knows where it'll end up. Well, they've institutionalised the same kind of approach in Queensland, for instance. So Victoria's debt is bad. Queensland's debt's just as bad. Per capita, they say, probably worse. But nevertheless, they've institutionalised it. 30 to 40% additional costs associated with building stuff in Queensland. And so people are building stuff in Victoria and New South Wales in particular because it's actually, you're going to get bang for your buck. But they are now, the CFMEU, are now saying to private companies, if you don't hire a union person, if you don't follow our rules and pay at the 30 to 40% above the rack rate, we won't allow you to get any work here. So companies are making decisions. They're going elsewhere. They're going to South Australia, to Western Australia. They're just getting the heck out. And some are not even bidding for jobs. We've got 60,000 house sites sitting there waiting for someone to start building on in southeast Queensland. That's the figure today that I was given, 60,000 but they can't find anybody to build it because all of these added on costs. So Victoria is the place to flee. It really is. That's what the number plate should read. Victoria, the place to flee. Uh, I just hope the Lions win on Saturday. That's all I care about now, Rita. <laughs> Are you coming down for it, Gary? Uh, only in my heart and my mind. I will be spiritually there, Rita. <laughs> Spiritually. You know what? People think it's going to be easy to get a grand final ticket because it's uh, Sydney, Brisbane. It's not. It's going to be just as hard as any other grand final. But I'm with you. I'm all uh, in on Brisbane, uh, especially after the, the hell they dragged Chris Fagan through for the last couple of years. Uh, I really hope he comes out uh, as the premiership coach. Gary Hardgrave, thank you so much for your time this evening. Cheers, Cheers Rita.